All right, just want to shoot a quick video right now of some of the issues I was having with the battery. Um, right now I have it on a trickle charger, which is this guy down here. Battery tender, not trickle charger. I guess it's trickle charging, but uh, I use this sometimes when the battery goes a little low. I personally don't drive the car more than a couple miles a day um, just because I work from home, so the battery's not recharging. Um, as if I'm doing, you know, 20, 30 mile trips a day. So we're just recharging it right now. And also another thing that I want to point out, if you're getting a, uh, any issues with the battery, you, you have to understand that if you're running a lot of accessories, which I am, I run a shitload of accessories on this car. So I'll just go over the accessories that I'm running. So, the first one is going to be the Aeron gauge. This is a this is my boost gauge. Shows also the all the engine. Basically, it reads OBD and it just gives me live uh, data. Of course, my radar detector, 9500 or no, this is actually the Max 360. I used to have the 9500, um, and that's hardwired into my system, which I this has saved me a lot of money in tickets. It's uh, front and back. And then I also have a two channel dash cam. This is a black view dash cam. Let me go outside and get a better view of it because I can't really see it's blocked. So there's the setup from outside. Here's the dash cam. So this camera is actually running um, 24 hours and it's a two channel camera. So when I say two channels, it's mean, it means it's recording um, both front and rear of the car. So go back in and you see a little guy up there. That's the other one. So I'm getting front and rear and rear recording all the time. Um, pretty stealthy. You can't really see it unless I t unless I tell someone that I have t uh, two channels. They don't. They never. Um, they would never think that. Can't really see from the outside. Like I said, it's very. It's it's the way I installed it. You can't. You wouldn't even see like right here. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. So running all that stuff, the dash cam's running twenty four seven. It is on a um, a voltage kind of deal where. It is hardwired to the battery, but if the battery drops below, I think it is 11.5 volts, the dash cam's not going to be on. So I'm just right here. This is a, a battery tester to check if it's bad. I've already checked if the battery's bad. It's not. I always have this in the car. Um, dealing with these BMWs, they are. They do have a, a super advanced electronic system, so you want to also monitor the battery if you haven't switched it out. It's supposed to be done every four years. Um, I might be due pretty soon for it. I might do it if I uh, keep if I keep getting battery issues after um, trickle charging it. Then that's going to be the next thing is just swap this thing out and get a new one in there. And I'll be coating it with uh, my little Carly uh, OBD port dongle, which will help, so I don't have to go to a dealership or anything like that. Now I did have this zip tied right here because I was, um, I wanted to put the, uh, the little thing for the battery charger or the battery tester, uh, just to check it out. And the best way is to just pull that aside really quick. So that's just temporary. Um, yeah, so that's basically what happens when you run a shitload of electronics. Dash cam's not on, but we have that other stuff. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are running any uh, other electronics, let me know. I want to know if you guys are having issues too. I think it's just me because I'm running two, two cameras, one radar, and the uh, boost gauge that's right there that's taking up the, the space of the air vent. So that's pretty much it. And uh, rod bearings are happening tomorrow. Pretty pumped about that. So I'll shoot a video about that and uh gotta drive all the way to california so it's gonna be a pain so there you go like comment subscribe let me know like i said and uh gonna let this charge overnight and we should be good tomorrow all right
Peace.